good morning guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl rebecca elaine and i am here with another vlog style video i'm excited because your girl is going to osaka have y'all heard of osaka japan i'm excited um the map that sort of tells us places that we can and can't go due to sort of restrictions that we have have lifted a lot of areas and osaka was one of them so i'm going there today i'm going to meet up with t and my friend chandra later on um we're taking the train which i don't always take the train um and so the thing is they're doing like some work and stuff today i actually took the day off so what i'm gonna do is take the train to hero probably spend a couple hours in hero like shopping around chilling hanging out um and then they're gonna meet me there and then from hero Hiro hiroshima as i'm talking about um from there then we'll take the shin which is the bullet train that i showed you guys when i went to fukuoka i think um we're going to take the bullet train to Osaka. So I just finished like making sure that I packed. I actually have my big suitcase, which honestly, I hope it's not too big. But the reason that I did this is because being on a train, I, I know that wherever I go, I shop. Like I know that enough about myself at this point. So really most of my stuff is on this side right here. And even the things that are right here on this little flap could fit right here. Um, but the whole backside is for as I'm like in Hero shopping and then as I'm in Osaka shopping, I won't be traveling with like a whole bunch of bags. I'll be able to just put it in my suitcase. So I'm really hoping that this suitcase won't be too big for the train because it is like extra large. Um, so we'll see. Um, so two things that I need to do right now is get something to eat and go get some yen. Um, I think that's really and then really just go. I'm a little bit nervous for some reason to like take the train from Iwakuni to Hiroshima because I haven't done that by myself before. Um, but I'm going to just take a taxi from so when I go get yen and food, then I'm going to take a taxi from there and then go to the train station. So I'll bring you guys along somewhere or another. Um, shout out to my boy. Um, rare bandy or that's the name of his company um because i really love like his graphic t-shirts but this one is a little risque so it's a cat so remember that it's a cat but it says like good p is rare but it's the cat so the reason i bring that up is because i'm on base and i know when i'm off base nobody really is going to know what it says but being that i'm on base and i'm about to go to uh get some food i'm like uh hopefully nobody says anything so i might just throw in the jacket um right now and then i'll take it off once i get to where i'm going so i will pick you guys up along the way um but let me get out of here i'm excited to start my new adventure make sure you give this video a big thumbs up right now and if you haven't done so already please make sure you subscribe see you guys in a few all right you guys so i just got out of the taxi and i'm at the train station in iwakuni but i'm really hungry so i'm trying to debate if i want to get food real quick the thing is my bag is like i feel like it's huge um so there's like a little restaurant right here beside me um but it's kind of like sandwiches and stuff so let me see what they have on the menu i might get something from here or 7-eleven is behind me and i can just grab something out of 7-eleven and eat it while i'm waiting on the train i think that's what i'll do um, yeah, we'll just do 7-Eleven. But it's probably about to be a lot going on, so I'll have to get you guys in a second. Alright, you guys, so I'm at the train station. I ended up just getting like a, um, the egg sandwich. I don't know why. I love these things from 7-Eleven. They come in like a little package like this. And they're really good. Can I just grab um, a drink and some chips? So I got five minutes before the express train. There's a train right there, but I was like, I want to eat. So I got five minutes before the express train and then I'll um, be out here. I think I need to put on some bug spray too to do this. He doesn't look in here. Okay, I'm back. Alright y'all, so I just put my luggage up in here. Um, it was only $7 and the good thing is it's right here by the shin. Um, I gotta go through there to take the shin. So. I am about to um, go out and see how far like Hondori Street is. That's where all the shops and stuff is. I think I'm gonna go to the Bape store first and then from Bape I might go to Billy. So I'm gonna try and find that. So I'm down here in Hiroshima. It's definitely bustling. People everywhere. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually walking to the Bape store which is like a 20 minute walk from the train station. But for me, I just like walking. I could have took the train, but I don't mind walking, especially when I have time to kill. So it's just kind of, for me in this moment, it's like reminiscent to the first time I came down here. Although I drove the first time. Sorry, it's so loud. 
Um, I might have to finish it later, but although I drove the first time, I remember like coming down here, like walking past this little river right here, and um, I felt so like nervous and scared being out here by myself. And I'm just sort of like used to it, so I thought that was kind of cool. Y'all, it is hot out here, so I've already gone to most of my favorite stores in Hiroshima. I've gone to Billy's, which they had some heat in there. They always have some good sneakers in there. Um, I went to Atmos, which I like that store. They didn't have anything for me, but they had something for say that um, I'm going to go back and see if they have the size because I don't think I can get them anywhere else. Um, I went to, I'm looking for an undefeated right now. I went to the babe store. I tried on a couple of things. I didn't like how anything fit. I'm in like a new like size and I, I like I like the size, but I'm trying to like get clothes that fit me well that I like. So I didn't like how the things fit there. Hold on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go check out undefeated. I got a couple pairs of shorts at H&M. Nothing too crazy. Um, and then I think that, sorry, I'm trying to find out where I'm going actually. Oh, not this way. Where is Undefeated? I can't, I can never find it. Hold on. I think that T and Chandra are on their way. So, um, it's going to take them probably about an hour to get down here. But like I said, I'm about 20 minutes away from the train station. So I'm going to go in Undefeated real quick, see if they have anything. Then go into Atmos, we'll get those sneakers for say and then head back to the train station. I might get food along the way too. All right, you guys, after my shopping, I ended up not buying shoes, but I'm here at Dimash. Um, this is the first restaurant I've been to in Iwakuni. I've never been to the one here in Hiroshima um, or in Hiroshima, and it is on the um, like Honduras Street, the shopping street. So I'm about to dig in, then I'll be meeting T and Chandra, so I'll pick you guys up when I'm with them. We have made it. Did you? We have made it to Osaka. We came off at the Shin Osaka, then we took another train, and now we are in front of our building. I had to pull out my camera because it looks so nice. Let me show y'all. It's so nice. Bad news, swamp, swamp. 
the restaurant and the bar was uh, closed. They closed at eight o'clock and they actually just turned like eight something. So now we have to venture out, see if we can find some snacks and maybe a drink or two. They do got pool upstairs, so we might do that, but. Sure. Oh, mm -hmm. So we shall see. So this is our night, 7-Eleven dinner in Japanese TV. <laughs> This where the party at. <laughs> if you're missing it, then or what is it? Be here or be square. <laughs> morning guys this is day two or morning two i guess of us being in osaka um a recap of last night so basically we got here it was kind of late so we really was like whatever we'll just kind of hang out in the um like the restaurant and stuff inside of the building turns out the restaurant inside of the building actually closed at eight so we knew that there was like this curfew and they were like everything's gonna close at eight but we were like okay well whatever we'll just kind of hang out in, the, in our hotel because our hotel has a really nice area so i think that you guys may have seen me like showing you around like the area upstairs like the rooftop and it had like a bar situation and it was really nice so we were like fine we could just hang out here not fine <laughs> because that closed at eight o'clock too so we were like oh my god what are we gonna do so we ended up going to 7-eleven getting some food um getting a couple snacks and we we're like we could just have a movie night we watched um the the lady in the window or something like that on netflix which was weird and honestly i was like okay yo, you know what it's people around let's do a scary movie because i do not watch scary movies so i'm like let's do a scary movie and we thought it was going to be scary and it ended up just being weird so that was that the other thing is we were like okay let's be proactive and plan out our day for today so we saw that there was a, um, a legoland in osaka or so we thought so we were like okay we'll do legoland and then there's an aquarium so we'll do that and then there's mario kart so we went basically booked all this stuff paid all of our money turns out the legoland that we saw is actually two hours away and we've already paid for a book that can't get a refund so that's two hours away the actual legoland that's here in osaka is like a a smaller version but i think we're still just gonna go to it anyway because we're not gonna go two hours away because basically it's just not worth it we were like we're rather just lose the money that we paid on the ticket versus paying double that to get there and get back and then it kind of interferes with our other plans so we're gonna go to legoland today or like the little smaller version of legoland Hey guys, it is Rebecca Elaine from the future in the editing room. I just thought it was funny because this is the first of many fails on this trip. So there's a lot of things that I said that we were going to do and we really planned to do, but it just didn't happen. So comment below if you can count how many fails we had in this trip. Um, we're also going to do the go-kart racing. So they have sort of like the Mario Kart go-kart situation, but they're like, we can't associate it with Mario Kart, so we're not going to call it that, but it does have uh, costumes and stuff. So we'll probably do that later, which I think that I'm going to use my small camera once again, because uh, I don't want to uh, mess up or drop this one. Um, and that's later on tonight, but it's weather dependent, and it's a 50% chance of rain at the time that we're supposed to do it. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, and so basically today is not going to go as planned. We thought that we were so smart yesterday, like planning the whole day to a T and already half of our plans has fell through. So we'll just kind of play it by ear, bring you guys along. We're about to go to eggs and things right now for breakfast. So I'll bring you guys along there as well. Um, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. All right, guys, we made it to eggs and things. We actually just saw in this area already. Um, I saw a Ferris wheel across the way. It was, it's not the tallest one though. Um, I also saw off-white store, Zara, and we put out something that's all Uniqlo, so probably gonna be shopping, so this might be a shopping type of day, we'll see.
because this is like some like underground shopping that. situation yeah, and it looks like really cool like there's a lot of different like first of all there's people everywhere but then also like just look at this it's like really nice i see straight ahead there's like an air med store up there there might be uh, i've been wanting like a crossbody louis vuitton bag and so there's a louis vuitton in here i'll check it out but honestly when i was in louis vuitton and uh Hiroshima they were sold out and I think he said they were sold out all in that area so we're a couple hours away so maybe but we'll see but it looks like really nice and just super super busy in here and I think this is actually part of the train station because if you look over here there's actually like train stops so I, I forgot the name of the train station but if I get it I'll, I'll put it down here so you guys can know because there's these really cute lockets that you can buy um, and basically it's like a love lock thing that you can have engraved and then you can leave it in a different place so I just ordered mine and then I'll show you guys once we get it but I'm gonna take you all around and then they raised the building and built the lower floors really yeah that's crazy wow this is how it's made oh look I guess they're showing right here that's really cool that they did that This. I would totally buy like a Lego set like this mm -hmm. <laughs> and put it together. That's a lot of Lego pieces. Mm -hmm. And there's an expensive Lego set too. All right. Let's take them on. Ready to go to the rooftop. Okay. okay. This is what freezes at. Oh. This is like outside. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I just gotta take y'all around. I wish that I could take my mask off, but there's people up here. But we're just gonna walk around and see what we can find. This is so wild. It doesn't even seem scary, honestly. Although we're like high up, it doesn't seem scary. Okay. There's nobody right here, so I can breathe a little bit. But wow. I want to try and find, so there is a, like the tallest building in Japan is in Osaka. And I want to find that. But for now, this is cool. I mean, <laughs> literally, this is cool. So you're supposed to come here with like your, your partner or whatever. It's supposed to be for like lovers. But we can come together, me, me and you, 
all of us, we can kind of come here together since my boo isn't here. Oh, here's the little love lock thing too that I'm gonna put, let me show you. It looks like we're supposed to put like the date that you come here with your partner. But honestly, I just put the date that me and my fiance had, like our first date or whatever, because I thought that was cool. And then if we ever come back, we can find it. And I don't know, something cheesy like that. We'll see. <laughs> All right guys, so here are my locks. They're so cute. And let me show you the back of this one. So this is the one I'm gonna keep. And it's like my birthday. And I put my name established on my birthday photo. And this one I'm about to go leave up there. Yes. So Rebecca's looking for her perfect spot to leave her and Say's locket. It's so exciting. And of course, if you know the voice, it's T behind the cam. T cam. Uh, she found her spot. I think it's right here. But we should be on the top. Uh, it's kind of busy up there. But we're like stars, we gotta be at the top. What about the one next to it, before you lock it? There's a bunch of space on this one right Which here. One? Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, wait. Oh, you can put yours around somebody else's, so it's always facing out like that. No, they locked theirs around yeah, somebody I else's wonder. lock. Oh, I thought they came back. But I don't wanna do that, cause I wanna, like, I want our love. I don't want nobody interjecting in our love. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. It's been there. Boom. Boom. Yay. I'm excited! Okay, gotta go make another one. <laughs> yeah, this is like a replica of the building. And it's kind of cool because we start off down there. And we go all the way up. And then we took that little escalator from there to the top. All right, you guys, so we spent quite a few hours yeah. in the um, Umeda Sky Tower, but it was really cool, so it, yeah, I don't mind. The other thing that's super cool that we're walking up on now that actually is hard to see from here, dang, we had a good view from the back, is there's this building called the Gate, oh, I can see it kind of. It's called the Gate Tower, I think, shoot, I can't remember the name, but basically, it's a building that, the only building I think in the world, I'll verify that, I think they said the only building in the world that a freaking highway drives through the building. So let me show you, hopefully you guys can see it. So it's the one that says T, T, K, P on the top, and the highway is kind of curved, so I'll try to zoom in for you. But you see how it like curves and then goes into the building? I don't know why I really wanted to see that, but that's super cool to me. Oh, look, it's the Apple Hotel. <laughs> Thing. but that's really cool so i just wanted to show y'all that that is all <laughs> the next, that is awesome. <laughs> next thing we're gonna do is go back to the room and then get some burritos oh oh we didn't know we All right, you guys, so we're in a place called the Sound Bar Restaurant, or it's like a sound bar and restaurant, but um, right now they're only taking takeout orders, so we just ordered uh, some burritos to go, um, and that way I can actually show you guys a little bit more of uh, what's going on outside. We're really just going to eat the burritos while we're rolling, um, and then also we're about to go do something fun, but I don't want to give it away until we get there and make sure so we're doing it. So. Alright y'all, so I got bad news. Um, the fun thing that we were gonna do was the Mario Kart, like go-karts, driving in the street. Unfortunately, we booked through a company called, and I'm gonna tell y'all, cause I just wanna make sure you don't do it too, a company called Viator, and they're affiliated with TripAdvisor, um, and they're advertising like the street go-kart situation. And we get here and no one's here. No one meets us or anything. So I just called. They said that they're, they're going to give me a refund. We'll see. It says it's going to take three to five business days. I did request for them to send me an email confirming that, which they did. So I'll just have to update you all, probably in the community tab, if I got the refund. But I do think it's important for you to know that um, I don't know that this company knows that the... Um, Mario Kart is temporarily closed, but it is, and they're still selling bookings for it, so that sucks. So now we're just going to try and find something to do, so I'll keep you guys updated.
I have a question for y'all as T and Chandra think that it's game. If y'all see a big A cockroach, do you run or do you relax? Comment below. <laughs> let's, let's just say I'm a run. <laughs> And she gonna scare other people and they go run with her and they're like, what are we running for? Oh, it was just a bug, really. A, really. A big A bug. <laughs> <laughs> My man's over here was about to run. <laughs> Where he at? He was, he was about to run. <laughs> It's sort of day two. Um, we got, I know, right? Uh, in Osaka, we are checking out of our hotel. We're actually going to head over to the train station, leave our bags, and then still kind of explore Osaka before going to our next stop, which is Kobe. Which I didn't take y'all to Kobe last time, so we are coming this time. I promise. All right, we're putting our things in the lockers now. So basically, we choose the locker. Put the stuff up in there. And lock it. And then you select your lock. And then you pick. Oh, which car? IC card. Yeah, you pick. We are at the Osaka Castle. Also, um, a little change of scenery here, um, but I know y'all heard if something no longer serves you, you gotta let it go. And that Bob was no longer serving me, <laughs> so I had to let it go. Now, I don't know why y'all, I really wasn't feeling my bobs today and it just was not, I don't know, so I just took it down. I gotta wash my hair anyway, so this is what we got now, kind of like a twisty curl situation. Definitely a lot of curls on the bottom. The top isn't as curly because of it was the different style. Anyway, uh, we are now at the Osaka Castle. I'm excited. We're walking up to it now. Um, I was able, you were able to see it from the drive, but I was too busy taking my hair down, so I actually haven't really seen it yet. Um, so we will see. We're coming in through the gates now. 
cutie pie. <laughs> All right, coming in through the gate. I love these huge like corridors. Like I swear, honestly, if they would go for it, I would put a big corridor like this in front of our house. Like you gotta be like, dum dum dum. Enter. <laughs> Look at this building outside of the castle walls. We still haven't gotten to the main castle just yet. Ooh. Okay, kiddos. Oh, he about to beat him up. Ooh, 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 y'all, ooh. World star. <laughs> oh, we're coming up on it. Look it. I didn't know y'all coming up here. I thought y'all was coming up you guys, the castle is green or it has green on it. Oh my God, it's beautiful. We'll get up close, don't worry, but this is like the first initial coming through the gate. Nice gift shop. I think there's like two or three in this building too on the first floor. Mm -hmm. I bought some stuff out of there. They have like really nice stuff in the gift shops. And guys, here. they also have a rooftop terrace up there so you can have restaurants. But look at this, gorgeous, wow. See her natural element getting the perfect shot. <laughs> Hitting the angles. Well, I can just show y'all the castle. It's raining a little bit, but y'all see it? Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. <laughs> I know, I'm too, I'm too close. She's just trying to see if you can do like the one where it looks like you're touching it. Oh, yeah. oh I know you're talking about. Yeah. I need to, I want to put this but somewhere. But that is too high. But that's yeah, okay. the castle itself is like I'll too high. It's like one open yam into a little bit. All right, y'all, check out T photo shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Dang, oh wait, hold on. Go, go, oh, there we go. Dang. <laughs> this is the live action for me. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, we making these 3D on Instagram. All right, making our way on up. So gorgeous. I love just looking at how big these stones are. Like huge. Imagine them building this thing. And my hair is like all over the place. I have a feeling, having mixed feelings, but it is what it is. With you, melanated family. Oh, I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Oh my god. Wow. I'm tired. I'm always out of breath, y'all. Oh. All right, guys, this is gonna be the views. So we're gonna walk around and see if we can see it. I love the moats down there. I don't know why. It's like. Don't come for me. You can't get through my moat. Let's go around and see what we can see. Ooh, look at this gorgeous. I'm just gonna go around. Oh, that building over there is kind of cool. It's a building, it's something like that. And, I think um, that is a building. The tallest building? That's it right there. Which one? Right this, in front of us. This? The glass building in the corner? Yeah. The center one. Uh huh. That's the tallest one. Oh, y'all. Well, finally be, see it. Yeah, I know we finally see it. We're gonna have to save it for the next trip. But the tallest building in Osaka, or in Japan, is that building over there? No, is it in Japan? Yeah. Tallest building in what? Japan. Japan. Okay, yeah, it's over there. So, but we're not gonna make it there this trip next time. So let's just go around. Let's see what's around here. It feels so good. There's a breeze. Oh, man, that breeze feels so good on this side. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Let's see. Oh, Osaka Joy Hall. Is that? Okay. What is this here? Oh, it looks like there's a circus over there. That's the Ferris wheel that we just got off of way over there. If you guys can see it. Way over there. There we go. 
honestly guys, we're just gonna check it out. It's eight floors. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's like most um, castles that I've gone to. If there is something that's super, super cool, I'll show you, but otherwise I'll catch you guys once we're outside. So I showed you what I could of the Osaka castle. One last look as we're leaving. Wait, where is it? <laughs> where is it? Wow, oh, there we go. <laughs> One last look as we're leaving. Um, uh oh, we're being solicited. But um, we're actually on our way to the um, Cup of Noodle Museum, which is actually eight miles away, 30 minute um, taxi ride we decided to just yes. go ahead and take a taxi because we don't want to be on the train too long because we're also we're going to be taking the train to Kobe um sorry people are talking mess so I'm going to go ahead and go I'll pick you guys up at the couple noodle museum well Elaine gang so one thing about couple noodle museum is you actually have to pre-buy your ticket so we just got here it was about 11 miles from the osaka castle so pretty far um but when we got here the ticket or like they were sold out for the day um so that's kind of a sucky thing but we're definitely going to just make the most of this area that we're in osaka is huge first and foremost um so we're gonna go find a shrine we'll probably find food and we'll just bring you guys along for the ride as you can see osaka has not been like we've made plans but we haven't done our plans but we're still having fun so that's what matters the most but cup of noodle museum you can see it listed right there um then next time i come i'll show you guys I can show you guys a little bit of the outside. I just knew I was about to make me my own cup noodles, but that's all right. Next time, we already have like a lot of reasons to come back to Osaka, so it works out. And I'll still be here for like another year and a half, so we got it. I was taking pictures of the different manhole covers, but I'll show you guys so I don't have to take a picture of this one. There are a bunch all up and down the road, different colors. All right, you guys, we have found ourselves in this cute little like chicken restaurant, which it looks really good. I'll show you guys my sandwich when I get it. It's called Chicken Craft Burger. Chicken Craft Burger. So, it's kind of nice. I'll show you guys around. It's really small, honestly, but it's super cute. It's like a, it's like a, 
You guys, we are in Kobe. I tried to record a little bit in the train station, but my camera died and it was like <laughs> hectic. <laughs> it took us a long time to actually find the train line from um, where we were at in Osaka to where we need to be, which turns out same train station. So if you're ever traveling about Osaka and need to go to Kobe, just stay where you are. Um, our room is kind of small. I mean, not kind of small, but it's nothing like super crazy. Three beds, cause all three of us are staying in here. T Shanta, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, bathroom is sort of galley style. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty long and then we just have our shower over here. So nice and cool. I'll show you guys the inside of the actual like hotel um, once we get out. But we are kind of in the heart of the city of Kobe. So we're gonna try and get food, walk around and figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah, fedora would have been cute. You guys, we changed into some cute outfits. Look at T. This is so good. I love that top. I'm in my new little Japanese half shirt. Oh, it's cute. I will show it to you, but I ain't gonna flash off. I got a tank top on, but I ain't gonna flash off. And it's gonna be cute. It's like a little half shirt. I know. Just enough of the mm. A little, little bizarre. Yeah, I, my shirt, I got on the shirt, but it's like skin tone and the girls is doing a little bit too much for me to have them all up in the camera with y'all. So we gonna go necklace up. Shandra got on the boots. Show the boots, because the boots is, was, is really was given. Yes, You gotta get the whole boot. The, the, Yes. The, the mere top. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that real wood soul right there. We I, we did not come to play Kobe. We let's go get some Kobe beef. All right, you guys. So far, this is the streets of Kobe. The first time I came here, I didn't bring y'all with me. Well, let me just talk to y'all. I didn't bring y'all with me. I don't know if you remember um, when I was in Kyoto, and then I came here the day after, um, and I didn't even vlog it, and it was crazy. Like it was people everywhere, but. Now it's not as many people, which I guess that's good. Um, but I do want to just show you guys a couple things because Kobe is known for their beef. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, like usually, or I think when I was in the States, before I came here, I would say Kobe beef, but it's Kobe. Um, so that's where I'm at. And so that's where it's known for just really good grass fed beef or beef. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, we're going to try and go to a restaurant. I went to one when I came last time and it was kind of expensive, but we might go back there and then we're going to just see, um, hopefully we don't need a reservation. And if we do, then we're just going to try other places because if anywhere you look, there's Kobe beef around. So that's what I'll show you guys as well. Uh, oh. Closed. Oh, they're closed. Okay. It's like okay, a so basically the trend of today is <laughs> Nothing <laughs> goes to plan at all. So the restaurant is closed. So, but we just made a reservation. We're gonna come back tomorrow at 11:30. Um, so now we need to find food, and we're gonna go to round one. And you know, me and T is a round one killer. So we, <laughs> <laughs> we about to um, introduce Shandra to round one. I'm probably gonna switch out. I brought an extra shirt because this is like my cute shirt. So I'm gonna just take a picture to Sensei, and then I'm gonna switch out to a tank top, like a appropriate tank top to really vlog, and y'all not gonna be all in my face. Check this out, guys. Kobe! Alright, you guys, so the streets of Kobe is pretty quiet, but we did see that they had um, some sort of like 24 hour, like, um, illumi or it's a park that's open all the time, but at night they have illumination. Um, so we're gonna go there, and we were actually on our way, and then we saw something else that was pretty lit up ahead of us, so we're actually heading there right now. So I don't know, y'all. It's not as planned, but it's still. Fun. And this hotel looks really cool too. It's lit up pretty bright. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the thing that we saw was like just a sign or something that kind of, I think it probably is like an entrance to some sort of shopping area, which I've noticed different entrances to different <laughs> areas, but I haven't had a chance. Oh, it's a Michael Kors store, squirrel. But I haven't had a chance to look up the different things to do, like, exactly. Oh, last time I came here, though, this Motomachi, this was all my things to do in Kobe, actually. I think it's like a shopping area, like one of those um, shopping arcades. I think that's what it is. 
but good morning guys so honestly last night i gave up on vlogging because everything that we said we were gonna do we couldn't do for one reason or another so it's another day we are in kobe good morning to t good morning to shandra um and we just showed up at a shrine and it looks really cool so we're gonna go check it out get us some goshuan stamps and make the most of our day i mean we can definitely get some massages Are you guys so that was um apparently one of japan's oldest shinto shrines so that was kind of cool um now we're on our way to a garden so basically we have reservations for lunch at 11:30, and so we want to stay in this general vicinity um but the garden is about a 13 minute walk away so we figured we could walk there because right now it's 10 21 so we can walk to the garden then bring come on back for lunch Check it out. I forgot the name of the garden. I'll tell you guys in a second. Or I'll put it on the screen. built by some English foreigners and they actually brought it over here and I guess they took the windows off the house and just closed the shutters and you used to be able to come in but because of COVID you can't um, but that's kind of cool and then this building right beside it is the rear maid house storehouse um, yeah I think this was the same I think and so that's this one over here so I always think that it's kind of cool to see like the European style buildings in Japan because it just it kind of sticks out but it looks like nice and it's a good clash when it's this Japanese style garden with like the European style buildings inside of it so I think that's really cool also BT dubs it is hot it's about 80 degrees right now really humid the sun isn't shining that bright because there is some overcast but oh my gosh it is hot right now Alright y'all. I was so, just walking y'all. <laughs> they were following me. The garden was actually really pretty. We took some cute pictures, so I'll insert the pictures either here or at the end of the um I was, I was like I was gonna say are those our friends? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to wave. <laughs> I saw her from afar. I'm like I wanna wave. I wanna say hi. <laughs> but um we got some good pictures so I'll uh insert them here. 
So we have to make our way back to go get our Kobe beef. All right, you guys, we made it to our reservations. I'm gonna show you all around.
All right, you guys, so I hope that you guys were able to kind of get a feel for the restaurant. It was really good. What'd you guys think? Delicious. The meat melted in your mouth. Even the fat <laughs> melted in your mouth. Even the fat. Yeah, they honestly, well, you guys saw how they cooked everything with the fat. It was like really, really good. So this is my second time, but I got different things, and so it was really good. But um, we're gonna head home. We're heading over to the hotel to pick up our bags and then we're gonna head to the Shen Station. Um, I think that I've gotten enough footage at this point so I will just catch you guys on the next one. Really hope you enjoy it. If so, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.